Hi friends, as we are going to conclude our PDF generation using report lab in Python. So at the final we will create a report like this as in every uh, all the time we are telling in different different parts that finally we will generate this. This report contains various sub components. You can see here a image, you can see here one uh, graph, bar, vertical bar graph, then one pandas table, then some image generated randomly and this is the line chart. Actually all these components we have individually discussed in different different parts. There are including this there are 12 parts are there all the url or all the address are available in the description all the parts we'll now we'll see how we integrate all these parts and generated this final report so you can see that what i will be doing is uh, this is the main file where i have this, this this file only generates it but this is a very less code you will say that how it so many things are generated actually it's imports all this another five components it imports 1 2 3 4 5 and these 5 are here 1 2 3 4 and the paragraph 3 paragraphs are kept in one file what I you can do is I will just file open you can see here this is the main file and these are all these 5 files are sub files wherever we are importing a image importing a bar chart importing a table all this we'll keep it a zip file for you to download so entire this folder will be zipped and kept it at the link link is at the description you can just go there and download it so it, instead of one by one downloading because multiple files are there it will be easy for you to download now let's understand how this report is generated and how it works this is our main file so in the first line we have importing the canvas then the letter then the dimension inch now rest five lines are all the different different uh, uh, components what we developed let's start with first with chart vertical chart and this right here you what you are you are seeing this vertical chart this one and import d what is this d we'll see chart vertical here Inside this you can see the D is the drawing and some sample data we have taken and we have placed it on the file and finally we are adding this one to our D. D is just the variable or the object what you have created. Now that we are importing it here in our main file the D. Then and you each one we have explained in one on one one tutorial that tutorial link is available in the description you can see now how you have created a table we have imported T from that so table one is here. So this is the sample data for the table one and finally here the T is there we have set the style everything and we have generated the table that table we are importing it here. Now next line number seven we are uh, importing a line chart. <clears throat> so line chart we have used it here at the bottom you can see the line chart is there. So so this is chart to uh, line chart is chart line chart here it is. Uh, chart here it is so this is the line chart we have drawn it added LC so finally line chart we have <coughs> importing where is my what I am line chart here you can see the variable line chart is created this particular object we are importing here in the main you can see the line chart is imported so this is available now now then the paragraph because you can see here three paragraphs here 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 three place so p1 p2 p3 three paragraphs we have taken you could, okay we could have drawn one and copied it but how multiple data can be taken that's how you can understand that so for that let's go to this particular page paragraph here simple we have just though it appears because more text is introduced three variables p1 p line number 20 p2 line number 26 p3 this three variables are created we have already have one tutorial exclusively how this paragraph how the style is integrated all this we have discussed so here it is and then we have placed it p1 wrap on 200 200 and the exact location all wrap on gives allocate the dimension to it and then it allocates the space where uh, it is the look xy components drawn on means it is the xy component we are associating with so all components are placed like that so we are at para p1 now the chart to circle in our shape six uh, tutorial we have seen how different different color dynamically colored uh, rect uh, circles rectangles we have generated that we have bringing it here so chart to circle you can here it is so in this a random circles we are created these are all right every time you run this report you will have a different set of colors here so this colors will keeps on changing because your rgb value color value we have changed it 
so it is a random numbers are generated so random colors are generated now that is all everything we have placed it in, in our report at a particular size we have specified and which location it should go that also we have specified. finally we have again the after the line chart we have saved it that is all friends so this is a combination of all what you have learned and generated this report such type of reports can be generated on the fly also because all these tables bar chart and all data can be taken from a database it can be pulled from sqlite suppose some average mark of each class wise suppose you want to generate a report class 4 how the maximum mark what is the distribution of mark what is the table mark all the graphs charts you can pull out from the database and dynamically it can be generated so that way class 4 report class you need not write every class report just pass the variable class 4 then the class 4 report will come up so it is like that you can uh, in your student table data you can use it and generate on the fly so thank you friends that's all this uh, will move to another this is the all about pdf i think uh, this is the 12th uh, video on pdf file so you can complete this uh, uh, course uh, 12 the report there and there are much more to learn also you have any specific question doubt suggestion put it in the comment section we will add to it not that we are closing the entirely from the pdf and we will move to some other section pandas numpies and all are there so put your questions doubt suggestion and my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we post new new videos we frequently do that and please share this with your friends and ask them to subscribe also thank you for watching